We need to talk about Aspen Ovard's recent TikToks. We were just talking about Aspen the other day and how she is spilling the tea on her divorce. Well, kind of. Aspen never tells us what's going on. She just strings us along. But the situation is getting wild over on TikTok. Some people are saying Aspen is manic. Maybe she's spiraling. Is she doing all of this for views? Or is this just all for the plot? Here's what we know so far. Aspen revealed that she recently found some information out that she didn't know before. And she referred to the very demure video that she made where she announced her divorce but said she would not be talking about it. So when she made the very demure video, she didn't know the information that she knows now. And she also said, everyone knew. Her exact words were everybody else knew the whole time. She put all of this drama in a sponsored video with Bloom on TikTok. This video has over 3 million views. She's making a lot of money by stringing her viewers along. In true Aspen fashion, she didn't say what the information was, which leads viewers to make assumptions and speculate about what this information is and what happened. Some people think Parker cheated, or maybe someone had an addiction that people in the family, people in their world were hiding. I've seen a lot of assumptions out there on the internet and we still don't know what this information is but Parker's mom responded and I believe she was responding to this video Parker's mom posted this on Instagram this massive grizzly bear she wrote stop mama bear is coming out stay tuned would you like to hear another side of the story Aspen just took her girls to Disneyland with Parker and their parents and Aspen was kind of making jokes towards the mother-in-law Aspen said when your mother-in-law's purse is a toothbrush carrying case that you gave her seven years ago and by the way Aspen deleted this video people on reddit are saying this whole situation is messy and you know who will suffer the most the innocent children no way this is happening Happening. Ha ha, this is going to be so messy. She took the story down, I think. OMFG, she totally did and gained so many followers. Unpopular opinion, I don't believe everything Aspen says. She is now trying to make it seem like he contributed nothing to the home. They had their vlog channel together. He took care of the girls so she could go on trips, work, and go to Target. She even bragged about how lucky she was that she didn't have to worry about anything because Parker was so helpful and wasn't like those dads who knew nothing about their kids. Then Aspen posted this TikTok video saying, when everyone thinks he's gay because I put rainbow hearts on my video, but the video was literally about me. She wrote, he's not, but I might be a little, we'll see. This is another narrative that Aspen won't fully talk about, but she only says enough to string people along for views and engagement. Now she doesn't have to talk about this part of her life, but she is. She's using it as content. She wrote, he's not, I might be a little, we'll see. So that's just enough information to keep people engaged and interested in this topic. Aspen also admitted recently that she's been sharing just the highlights of her life and leaving out any issues, problems, or anything that's not a highlight in her life. And she said by doing that, she's curated this perception of her life on the internet that's just not true. Now she said she did this unintentionally, but a lot of people are not buying that. They do not believe this was not intentional. But I think this is a good example of, you just can't believe everything you see on the internet. Content creators curate a narrative for social media about their life. They only show you bits and pieces and the bits and pieces that you see are sometimes planned out, scripted, and part of the narrative they want to portray on social media. Then Aspen posted this video saying, me trying to explain to him there's a really funny relevant audio he should use right now for his first TikTok ever and maybe it would go viral and maybe everyone would forgive him. Then she posted a video answering this question from a viewer, wait, so y'all are friends now I'm getting whiplash in this video she does clear up two rumors about Parker a lot of people are speculating that he cheated on her she said she's never been cheated on that she knows of and Parker is not gay 
Aspen also says that she's been thinking about her kids a lot and she's not sure what she should share and all of this. I mean, she says this all the time. There's a pattern here. She will share a little bit of information. She'll cause a lot of drama on TikTok, get a lot of views, make a lot of money, and then she'll go, oh, but I don't know what I should share or if I should share. I'm really trying to think about my kids. She said today she's feeling better. Last week was rough, but she's feeling better today and it's probably because she took a gummy. She said, you know it's bad if she feels like she needs to do that. She hasn't been sleeping. Then she said, just be nice to him. She doesn't say his name, but I'm sure she's talking about Parker. She said, trust me. And she made like this awkward look on her face. She was like, trust me. Just be nice to him. Which again, has people speculating like, what is she talking about? Like she does all of this to create all of this drama and speculation on TikTok and it's working. Then she posted this video, which appears to be the same day or recorded on the same day. She has the same outfit on, same jewelry, same hairstyle. I believe the same nails, the brown nails. But now that I'm taking a closer look, I really can't tell if her nails are brown. So I'm not sure about the nails, but it seems to be the same day. She's holding a drink, looks like a margarita glass. So she's drinking alcohol and we know she just had a gummy too. So if this was all filmed on the same day, then she is taking gummies and drinking alcohol on the same day in the same evening. This is just an assumption because I don't really know what she's drinking. She's holding what looks to be a margarita glass, but she could have lemonade in it. I don't know. The audio in the video says, Oscar, listen, baby. I know I was a bad girl, but come on. You'd have to be crazy not to take me back. Anytime Parker's in Aspen's video on TikTok, it explodes. Like she gets way more views if Parker is in this video, if he's on the thumbnail than any of her other videos. She got over 4.4 million views on this video. Last month he was in several of her videos too. She has now taken those down. Aspen said as far as her next relationship, she wants someone who has a job, who has their own thing, who contributes financially to the household, which makes viewers assume that Parker didn't do any of those things because she's pointing it out like she didn't have that before. But if Parker is appearing in her contents, he's making content, creating TikToks with Aspen, and these TikToks are making her a lot of money, isn't that working? I mean, that's what Aspen does and she calls it working. Hasn't Parker been working all along too? He's appeared in content for years and years and years on her platform. Next, Aspen posted this video and I think this video is in direct response to Parker's mom's grizzly bear post that she made on Instagram. Aspen wrote, she might be a mama bear, but I am mother. His mom can't do what I can. This video was posted about three hours after the last video was posted, the one I just showed you, which would be the same day that she was holding the margarita glass and took a gummy. This could have happened all on the same night, but again, we don't know. We do know Aspen pre-filmed stuff. In this video, Aspen is bumping and grinding on someone. It appears to be a man. It appears to be Parker. If you look at the picture on the left, you can see a foot and she is blurring out his man parts. Let's read a few comments that were left on Aspen's video. Icon behavior, how? You're the most media trained person on the internet. And I just don't know if all of this is for the plot or if it's a serious crash out, but I think I need help because I am scared. Aspen responded, don't worry, it's just the plot. The same day Aspen posted those videos, she also posted this on stories. And I believe she posted this before the grinding video. Aspen said, trying to decide if my next TikTok idea is too unhinged or if I should just continue the streak and do it anyways. And people were freaking out in the comments. One person said, the way my jaw dropped, literally running to your profile every five minutes. I have no one to tell this to. I wish I had a friend to talk about this with. Wait, what's going on? I'm so confused. Aspen, what? I'm actually here for it. What? I have no one to talk to this about. I've never seen Aspen put out content like this grinding video. And remember, this was a clap back at Parker's mom. She wrote, his mom can't do what I can. 
I don't even know what to say about that comment. But this feels like OF content. We're getting low-key OF content from Aspen and Parker. Who would have thought? What are your thoughts on this messy situation? And what do you think Parker's mom or Parker's family thinks about her response? Leave a comment. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. See you next time.